hour we can work it. Please, please open it in front of you. Okay, here's a text. It's about true colors. I hope everyone read it. Read it. It's about colors and it, uh, there's an idea about colors reflect our personalities. For example, blue is a calming color. Blue people are often hardworking and also pretty mean when it comes to money, it says. So colors and personalities. This text about based on this idea. And in part A, open your worksheet. In part A, it says, make a list of all adjectives. There are lots of adjectives in this text. Divide them, separate them in two groups, positive ones and negative ones. I wrote them, as you see on my screen, positives and negatives. Please check your um, answers. To be able to do this activity exercise, you need to know their meanings. For example, if you know what happy means, can write it in However, if you don't know, you cannot write. Pass through the next activity. Not positive, open minded. Also, I prepare a work list. Let me Sorry, guys, can you hear me? It's about yes. internet connection. Yes. Okay. Okay. You are gone again. Yes, teacher. Continue. Let me reflect my screen quickly. Yes. Yes. Can you hear me now? What? Sometimes it's gone. Okay, then. And off again. Hmm. Okay, let's go go quickly then. I hope you read uh, write them. Check your answer. Part B. What colors do you like most? And do you agree that the idea? Uh, the idea that colors reflect your personality. Do you, what color? Do you like Asan? Oh, what colors do you Did like you? the most? What's your favorite color? My favorite color is black and red, and I don't <laughs> agree because all humans can love all colors. I think. <laughs> okay, you don't agree with this uh, text idea that colors reflect our personalities. Elif, do you have an idea? Do you agree with the idea or 
now, Ilse Bikum. Teacher, uh, teacher, I think blue is good color okay, for you like blue? Uh, personality. Okay, and do you agree that yes. uh, blue colors reflect our personalities, like calming, relaxing? Teacher, I agree. Okay, then. Okay, let's continue with part C. One is B. They are signs. They have all different meanings. One, pedestrian. Someone who uh, walks, not using a vehicle or driving. Pedestrians only, not bikes or car. Two, A, slow down. Three, you should stop at the zebra crossing when the pedestrian wants to cross, wants to walk. And for B, you can turn right or left from the junctions. When you see this sign, it means turn right or you can turn right or left. And the last one, only cyclists can use this way. Check your answers, please. Okay, let's continue with part B, if you're okay. Part B, match the sentences with the reflective pronouns. If you remember, we have learned reflective pronouns. Herself, himself, yourself. Okay, one, I can figure out the math problems. I, so... My dad, see, my dad, he, my dad has to make dinner by himself. My parents left me and my sister, me and my sister, we, so ourselves. For my dogs, they, themselves, dog, the hole under the fence, and my phone, it, my phone turned its house on. Lady Gaga, she, herself came to my birthday party. Sorry, I can't help you. You have to do it. I can't help you. You, my subject is you here. You have to do it yourself. Okay? Any questions? No? Hello? Are you there? No, okay. Yes. Okay, let's continue. Part E, as you see, there is no answer because you, you should write your own, your own words, okay? When riding a bike, you must... Who would like to answer? Elif? Okay. You must wear helmet. Helmet, well done. You have to watch out. You should be careful. For Kyra? Uh, uh, teacher, two or three? Two. Uh, watch out for cars. For cars, yes. If there is a cycle lane, you can. Can I do Yes. Uh, you can drive there. Yes. And at a junction. Do you remember this sign? Turn right, turn right. At a junction, you must. See, can I say? Mm hmm. You yes. must should pay attention. You must. You cannot say must and should together. You must pay attention. Before you turning right, right or left, maybe. Okay, Matan. You cannot use must and should at the same time. Okay. See, I um, forgot the uh, clean shoot. Um. Okay. 
last one you ma you have to make sure your bike is teacher can i say can i you have to make sure your bike is fixed yes or working well thank you so much guys so like I said, there is no uh, one correct answer. You need to complete this sentence with your own words. Okay. Vocabulary part. We have learned this vocabulary about characters, cheerful, someone who always smiles, and confident, who believes in herself or himself, jealous, sociable, sympathetic, like this, we are going to label them. One, she loves spending time with other people because she is sociable. Two, I'm always smiling, laughing because I am cheerful. My parents care about how other people feel if they are sad, whether they are sad or not, so sympathetic. George Greece Greek or Greece sorry Greek. yes always wants to have what others have jealous okay of course I can of course I can mm. I know I can do it perfectly in confidence any questions I think no last part not last part Next one, it says, match the words with their definitions. To be able to do it, you need to know their definitions. You need to use your dictionaries. Pedestrians. Pedestrians means somebody walking, okay, rather than using vehicle. And pavement, a portion of a street surface for pedestrian movement, okay, a part that pedestrian use, okay, not carts. And next one is C, tire, and the ring shape, protective covering around a wheel. A wheel, something covers a wheel, plastic, okay, usually they are black. And the last one, cyclist, what is cyclist? A person who rides a bicycle. Bicycle. Okay. Check your answer, guys. If you have any question, please ask me. Don't wait. Are we okay? Shall we continue? Say something? Yes. 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 Okay. Next part, Ross Plus books, safe biking with uh, that and playing it safe. You need to write uh, the main ideas, which I hope, I hope you read the books. Who can tell me the main idea of first book, safe biking with that? What's the main idea? What is the book about? Who can tell me? So I'm not sure what I am sure about till. <laughs> okay, you can tell me the second one. For first one, who can tell can me? Elif, did you read? Yes, okay. Teacher. Uh, learn bike traffic signals. Signs or signals. Okay. Looking on the title. And the next one, Kyra. Playing, uh, playing safe is important. I write different second one. you're gonna again 
Ja, Freeze. Okay, we can win. Please be quiet, just to us again. No. Did you your connection is gone? I think yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher now. I can hear you. Yeah, but it's gone. And come just few minutes. Come, come. No, please. Two seconds. Better now. Yeah, it goes and comes back. Sorry about it. Okay, parts. Next part, you need to send me my email. Okay, what about April April Fool's Day? Send me email about your research. Why did you go? Yes, again. Teacher's connection is gone. So, teacher was um, gone too. Yeah, I think teacher. <laughs> Yusuf, not go gone. I hope it's not same the Gilles teacher's computer. I'm <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, then. Let's continue. Let me reflect my screen again. Uh, for the next part, you should send me your uh, poster or presentation on WhatsApp or via email, okay? About your research, I mean. About what? April full stage. Okay, it's a special day. You need to search about it. You need to find interesting facts. Send me at the end of the uh, our PowerPoint for presentation. Some of you did, I know. I got the email from you. And last part. There's an email. You were supposed to uh, reply this email. Who did? Who can read? Kyra. I can read it. Kyra. I have got back from my holiday. I went to Singapore. It's sunny. I couldn't remember. That's it? Yes, it's very small. Okay. Like I said, please send me your writings and presentation on WhatsApp or via email so I can uh, uh, check them. But please send them. If you send me your homeworks, I can uh, mark it like he or she didn't do his or her homework. Okay, I need to see. All right, now let's skip to the presentation, okay? This week we are going to do lots of presentation. Hello, STEM students. We will remember some photos, pictures, gestures, okay? Let's start. Body language. We have a unit, body talk unit. 
we have uh, an idea about this, about these gestures. Look at the uh, pictures, for example, here, points, it's pointing you. Let's look at them, remember them. Not your hat means to say yes. Shake your hat to say no. Point to show somebody or something. Make okay gesture to say something is great. Shake hands to greet. Cross fingers to wish for luck. Okay? You know this. And we have some more. Give thumbs up to show everything is okay. This is name. Curl. Look, curl. Curl your index finger to ask somebody to come to you. It means come here. Okay? These are the body languages. Okay, in your uh, in this unit, body talk unit, there is a text. Always we have a text. It's the meaning of the gestures. Okay, and the mistake people made when visiting other countries. Okay, I want you to read the text after lesson. What? Um, let's see the example. For instance, in the UK, people give them uh, thumbs up to show everything's okay. Yes, it means everything's okay. But in Thailand, they think that it's very rude behavior. It is very wrong. As sticking out your tongue. It is rude, yes. So in Thailand, if you do this, give thumbs up, they think it is rude. So I want you to find some more example in the text. Okay, let's continue with the adjectives, character adjectives. Which adjectives best describe you? For example, if you believe in yourself, you can tell that I am confident. However, if you think that you don't feel comfortable, you don't feel confident, about talking in front of these people, then you can you can say that you are shy. Yes. So let's look at the adjectives describing your character: bad-tempered, jealous, sociable, nasty. Nasty means rude. And pessimistic. Pessimistic means it's something negative. Okay, someone who thinks in a negative way, someone who's the negative sides of something. However, optimistic, positive, someone who thinks in a positive things, who sees positive sides of something. Okay, lonely, alone, having no friends. All right, now, can you tell me which adjectives are positive? Uh, or negative here who can tell me negative and positive ones teacher i can see it okay teacher uh, uh positive one is confident confident uh, yes positive. Uh, negative is oh uh, so i don't want to say writing this uh, i'm thinking uh uh, teacher. Uh, but tempered. Teacher, can I? Okay, thank you, Kaya, for telling me the positive one. Confident. Teacher, can uh, I? Yes, yes. Uh, positive one is friendly. Friendly. And neg negative is lonely. Lonely. Okay, thank you, guys. Let me separate them quickly. Bad tempered, negative. Jealous negative, pessimistic, nasty, lonely, they are negative, cheerful, positive, yes. optimistic, positive, friendly, active, sociable, sympathetic, um, they are positive. Okay, let's continue. It says, let's see the student's book, page 90. If you look at the 90, page 90, you will see this page. And we know these vocabularies, these adjectives about characters, bad-tempered, cheerful, jealous, sympathetic, 
uh, sociable, confident, and adventurous. Do you remember? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and describe yourself with the given characters. Adjectives. Okay, let's describe ourselves. Let me give you an example how, for instance, I'm confident. I know I can do things well. Can you give me an example like this? For cheerful, for example, I'm cheerful. I What did you say? So can I say? Yes, video. I'm cheerful. I'm smart. I smart. Okay, let me go back to my our book. Let me open it because and then we will talk about self-esteem and then we will watch the video and then we will end up the lesson. Okay. Just a second, please. Let me open that page. Everyone, you can open your books. Page 90, adjectives describing our personality. Here you go. One was example. Let's hear again. Confident one. Confident. Sorry. I'm confident. I know I can do things well. For example, and you did number two. I'm cheerful. I smile and laugh a lot. Okay, like this. What about next one? Okay, let me let me open play. Listen because and then you are going to write them on your notebook, okay? After lesson. I'm jealous. I want to have what others have. Okay. Write the adjective and then describe the personality. Jealous, again. I'm jealous. I want to have what others have. Next. I'm sympathetic. I care about the feelings of others. Okay, sociable. I'm sociable. I like to be with other people. Okay, I'm confident. It's written here. I'm confident. I know I can do things well. And the last one. I'm adventurous. I like doing new things. Okay. I want you to write their meanings like this. Let me show you again. Like here, for instance, I'm confident. I know I can do things well. It says write your own sentences, please. Okay. After lesson, open page 90. Write your sentences like this. I'm confident. I know I can do things well. And like this, I want to see this on your notebook. Jealous. I want to have what others have. Confident, I know I can do things well. Bad tempered, I get angry easily. You understand? Yes. <laughs> yes, teacher. Read the all vocabularies, yes? Page 90. Uh, okay. Seven adjectives. Just page 90. Okay? Okay. Lightest, jealous, confident, bad tempered, sociable, sympathetic, cheerful, confident. Okay? Okay. No. Okay. We will end up the lesson just for two in a few minutes. self -esteem. Let's continue with the self -esteem. Turn off your microphone, please. Okay. Someone. Let me see. Turn it off, please. Huh. Thank you. It, let's continue with the self -esteem. What is self-esteem? Self-esteem means the value, I explained it before, let's remember again, the value you put on yourself, okay? How important you feel you are. You feel you are an important person or no, it's about uh, self-esteem. And we can improve it, okay? We can change this situation if you have a low self-esteem. Okay, now, 
it says before reading we are going to we will continue this slide tomorrow anyway and it says before reading watch the video about characteristics okay tomorrow you are going to read this text myself i love myself please read it before the lesson okay look at the unknown vocabularies before you come to join the lesson Okay, let's watch the video and then we will end up the lesson, guys. Let me go back to my book again. Oh. Let me find the video. Okay, here we go. Sometimes people let things get them down. There is nothing wrong with feeling sad. It happens to everyone. But if you don't feel good about yourself, then there are some things you can do to change that. Here's a few tips to boost your self-esteem. Be confident in yourself. One of the best ways you can feel more confident is to remind yourself of all the good things you have done. Every time you do something well, write it down. Read the list whenever you feel bad and say to yourself, I did that. Don't be too hard on yourself. A lot of people can be too hard on themselves. Nobody is perfect and everyone makes mistakes. There is no reason to get angry with yourself when you make a mistake. Learn from them and move on. Treat people the way you would like to be treated. People with low self-esteem can sometimes behave badly towards other people. Bullies have sometimes got low self-esteem. It is important to respect other people even when you don't feel good about yourself. Present yourself well. Look and act positively, and it could make a difference. The way you present yourself can affect the way you feel. So stand tall and keep your head up. Smile and be cheerful. You will be amazed at the difference it makes. You will probably make everyone around you happy too. Express yourself. When you feel down, why not talk to someone you trust? Everyone has felt negative about themselves at some point. Talk to your friends and family. They care about you and they will be sympathetic. You will feel much better when you share your problems. Help someone. Another great way to feel better about yourself is to make someone else's life better. You could volunteer for a charity. Why not help a person in need? There are lots of people who will appreciate your time and help. Believe in yourself. Negative emotions will only make you feel worse. Don't be jealous of others or try to copy them. Be yourself. Be friendly. Being with other people will help you forget about your troubles. If you feel unhappy, spending time with friends can make a big difference. Stay sociable and try to have fun with other people. Enjoy yourself. Another way to enjoy yourself is to try new things. Why not take up a hobby? It will take your mind off your problems. And you might find a new activity you love. Get yourself off the couch. The worst thing you can do is sit on your couch and watch TV. A 
healthy body will give you a healthy mind. Get out of the house and go for a walk. Any exercise will do. Don't let life get you down. Talk to your friends and family. Stay sociable. And keep your mind and body active. There are so many things you can do to feel good about yourself. Okay. We will end up the lesson here, guys. Tomorrow we will continue with uh, reading the text and then we will answer some questions. Okay, that's all for today. See you tomorrow. See you, teacher.